These renders show what the IM2 mission is expected to look like through animation. We asked the mission team how closely these animations are to reality. My name is Brooklyn Herman and I'm a mission operations engineer. I also sit the Chaos Console uh, during the missions, which is a cool name that we came up with. It's probably the coolest console position that we have. Probably one of the most terrifying parts of the mission right there. So it looks like during that part is whenever we're going behind the moon, and that will be technically one of our first major LOSs of the mission. Once we're on the dark side of the moon, none of our ground stations can talk to us anymore. So we go into like a dark period of both nighttime, technically, and then loss of signal. So it's a time for the team to kind of sit back, hands off for, it's about 40 minutes or so, and just we don't have any communications with the vehicle at all. Once we come back around the other side, that's whenever we have AOS or acquisition of, acquisition of signal, and then we'll know, are we okay? <laughs> Do we come back alive? Or uh, if something went down on the dark side of the moon that we didn't see. It's fun, you can see some of the craters. So it looks like we're doing probably the lunar orbit insertion burn or we're getting ready for DOI. I'm not sure which one it's representing there, but we have uh, the first burn that we have to actually get into lunar orbit is called our lunar orbit insertion burn. And that's a very long burn. For IM-1, it was the longest burn in history that any vehicle had done, so we got to have that fun historical marker. But um, we do that one to get us into lunar orbit, and then we'll go around the moon about 39 times is how many orbits we've got, which is about three days of uh, low lunar orbit time. A lot of really good time to gather data, take all these cool pictures that we can get, and make sure we know what we're about to drop down into before <laughs> direct orbit in or descent orbit insertion. And that burn in the video could be either one, depending on where we are in the full simulation. Um, but it looks like it's probably where it's getting ready to drop into that. And we'll be, like I said, three days of just sitting there circling, gathering data. If we need to do a lunar correction maneuver, we have that opportunity kind of in the midway, just in case we need to get a little more perfect orbit. And then we'll drop down into our distant orbit insertion burn before we get ready for landing. Okay, yeah, so that was the descent orbit insertion burn that you had that was right there in that video whenever we're getting ready to drop down. Music is so perfect right there. It's just very dramatic, which it is the most dramatic point because we're getting ready to go right into that final direct orbit, which is about another two and a half orbits that we do before our um, power descent ignition. And that's when we proper like drop down, get ready to land uh, this puppy on the moon. So... That's really cool to see with the like colors of how the burn is coming through. That um, I really like that because it's very obvious. Like the vehicles putting out some power right there, getting ready to drop down into that um, attitude that we needed to get into. So that's very cool. The moon looks great, by the way. The all the detail on the graphics of the moon are so pretty. I want that as my wallpaper. <laughs> but uh, so it's gonna be so cool.